Hello everyone, today we're going to configure an Exxon controller. So let's begin. I'm going to double click on the Global Configurator 3 icon that is on my desktop. Give it a moment so that the software fully loads. Select Import Project Configuration, then click OK. As you can see, IP Link device is selected as default. Name slash IP address is blank. So what we're going to do is, we are going to open up the extra folder that's on the desktop. And then we're going to open up this Excel sheet. This Excel sheet has the list of majority of all the classroom, which is tied to an IP address. So, as an example, I'm going to use one of the classrooms that I've been testing. I'm going to use E104 and the IP address that correlates to E104. So, Copy and paste the name slash IP address in here, then click OK. On this step here, you're going to click Yes, because this is not a global viewer host. So click Yes. Give it a moment to load the file, then click close. This is the E104 config file. For this demonstration, I'm going to change the projector driver in this config. Click on the plus sign where it says control port click on the plus sign this here is the projector driver so what we're going to do is we're going to replace the driver with another projector driver I'm going to be using me 361 W as my new projector driver which is going to replace ME331W. So what we're going to do is double click on the new driver and then immediately replaces the old driver. Then after this, we're going to do a build, build change configuration, then click OK. Give it a moment. Click begin. This usually takes 30 seconds more or less. After this is done, click close. And now the config file has been up to date. Lastly, we just finished installing the new projector driver. We have to make sure that the con configuration is set on the right speed. Currently, it's at 38,400. You have to make sure the projector has the same speed as the current com settings. If it doesn't match, just either change it here or change it in the projector, right? What this allows you to do is turn on the projector and turn it off and switch between inputs. 
And this is how you configure an Xtron controller.